how to get 2D drawings from your 3D plan, things like floor plans, sections, and elevations. The process is actually quite simple. First, let's add a camera and hit Alt-R to reset rotation. Now, we have a camera view from the top, which is the usual for plans. So place it there and move it up until it sets over the model. The camera is on perspective type by default. That's why we can see the interior wall faces. So we need to switch it to orthographic type, then play with the orthographic scale to get all the model inside your shot. Might also fix the output resolution depending on your floor. In the camera settings, inside the Viewport Display sub-tab, enable the Show Limit option. This way we can clip at the exact height we need. Once you're done with the camera, we need to enable the Contour Lines, which is the freestyle render option in Blender. So enable it by checking the box in both Eevee and Cycles. After that, we need to choose the background color, which is the world color, and the line color for the model. You can go with the world color being white, then in the layer settings for the freestyle, make sure the color on black, which is the default, or go with white line on a blue background for blueprints. The options are yours. That's the basic of it, and there are a couple of options to go through them. Like in the line style, you can check the edge mark for sharper corners, you can pick the sketchy stroke type for the lines. The thickness is also an important thing in life. Oh yes, indeed. And here you can put it on a value of 2, because the default 3 is too much for the entire shape, especially with close lines. You can even add a modifier here, the crease angle. This way you can set a range for the thickness from 1 to 3. There are also modifier in the line geometry to go through them. Try it and see the result. However, the main thing is adding a camera on ortho view. Check the freestyle option and pick your colors. This way you can easily generate 2D floor plans, sections, and elevations with no time. Now, if you rotate the camera on a front view with a clipping value that fits your shot, you can be done with the sections too. Maybe reset the clip and get elevations for further edits in Photoshop. It's an easy and fast way to get the job done, so get custom to it. Another way to do this with more control is with the grease pencil. So if you're interested, watch this video. And that's it. Like and share if you care, and see you in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.